thumbnails, the front door to your content. And today I'm knocking. This is my eight part video series and this is video number seven and it starts inside Adobe Express. I've been creating videos since the fourth grade and I can frame things, make them look nice inside the video. But when it came to thumbnails, I struggled. I struggled a lot. <laughs> thumbnails are a whole different ball game. They're like the front door to your content. And if your thumbnail isn't inviting, <laughs> no one's stepping in. You don't need to be a designer to make thumbnails. You just need Adobe Express and a sprinkle of creativity. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. Let's get started. Go to adobe.com forward slash express. No app to be installed, this is right inside the browser. Thumbnails come in many sizes, vertical to horizontal across the many social media platforms. The cool thing is that you don't have to remember any sizing because Express provides templates. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the keys to creating an eye-popping custom YouTube thumbnail. For this very video, the one we're watching, we're gonna find social media. Click on YouTube thumbnail. They have dozens, if not hundreds, if not thousands of templates to choose from. We're gonna create our own. Pro tip, these are also really cool to use inside your videos as title cards. We're just gonna start blank. So what makes a thumbnail pop? Ask yourself this real quick. What grabs your interest and encourages you to click on a video? Let us know in the comments below, I would love to hear them. And while you're there, drop us a thumbs up. For me, it's the following. Bold and clear text. Use large readable fonts with high contrast. Ensure the text conveys the video's key message at a glance, even on the small screens. High quality visuals. Use crisp, vibrant images or graphics that grab attention and reflect the video's theme. Emotion and expression. Include faces or elements that invoke curiosity, excitement, or other strong emotions to connect with viewers. Consistent branding. Incorporate colors, fonts, logos that align with your channel's identity to build recognition. Minimal clutter. Keep the design clean and simple, focusing on one or two main elements to avoid overwhelming the viewer. I'm gonna add elements that speak to the project, checking all the boxes. So I made myself a checklist. It's like a guide to stay on brand. It has to come off professional, inviting, clean, simple, with elements that pop. On the left-hand side is all the tools and working essentials. Media, text, elements, charts and grids. I'm gonna start off by adding a background. You can quickly pick suggestions or search photos. A quick search for paper. And I built a personal library over time inside Express. Go to your stuff on the left-hand side. These are my favorite and most used elements colors, fonts, logos. If you're bringing any file from the outside, it's a simple click and drag into the browser. It imports super quick. Now let's line up the paper background. Next is the photo of me. Let's cut that out. When you highlight any layer, say this photo, quick actions appear, like remove background. One click and it's gone in seconds. With Movie Magic, I'm gonna bring all the elements into play. Notice on the right hand side, all of the layers. Click, drag and drop to bring forward or send backwards. This is the Adobe Live series. So I'm gonna add that logo right here. Gonna sort everything just a little bit. Today we're educating inside Adobe Express. So that logo has to be nice and large. All of this communicates to what's being addressed in the video. The many different apps featured within the series, an arrow to symbolize from this to that, easy step-by-step, -step, thumbnails for examples, social media platforms that are incorporated and proper logoage and titles. There you have it. Every channel and every video is gonna be unique on its own. What we can take away and learn from this is the structure. Here are the key points to watch for with the end result. Bold and clear text. Large readable fonts with high contrast. The text conveys the video's key message at a glance, even on the small screen. Two-tone also helps highlight. If you notice every piece of content within this thumbnail, there is a thick stroke and a drop shadow. The drop shadow separates from the background creating depth and it's on every last piece high quality visuals, crisp, vibrant, welcoming, that grab attention and reflects the video's theme, high contrast. I'm wearing black on a white background, emotion and expression. My face is included with elements that evoke curiosity. Excitement connects with the viewers, consistent branding. Here are my previous thumbnails, colors, fonts, logos, all align and builds recognition. If you need to adjust anything on the fly during your travels, like fixing that last minute spelling mistake, you can do so from your phone. Tap download and there you have it. Express has a ton, and I mean a ton of templates. So whatever your topic, theme, or who you are, there's a style for everyone. Use it as is or tweak and customize like I've shown here. 
This is just the beginning of what Adobe Express can do. Subscribe for more tips and exclusive updates. And if you're down, drop us a like on this video. This is me, this is what we're creating. Thank you for watching, and as always, later.